We're back at, at Summer Toast 10th Annual. This is a fabulous event. I still can't believe how many vendors are here tonight. And you happen to be one of them. Dave with Scholarship Real Estate. Correct. Uh -huh. So tell us a little bit about your organization. What we do is fund scholarship programs uh, in various, various uh, uh, educational institutions right now. Okay. We're working with Metro State. And what I do is help uh, professors newly hired okay. to relocate to Denver. And out of those transactions, uh, the commissions paid from that, I donate a significant portion to Metro State oh. to fund scholarships for this year of uh, five students oh, uh, who will get uh, a portion of that, about $1,000 for each of five students. Okay. And, uh, $5,000? Uh, Sorry, how much? 1000 a piece, 1, thousand a piece. Okay. five students. Great. And uh, we're at first base, and we're off to a good start. And I hope to grow to many more than five students uh, in the years to come. Yeah. So, Dave, are you one of the co-founders, or, or how did this come about? Uh, it's a brainstorm I've had myself over the past couple of years, and finally uh, put the, the the concept together. Okay. And working with the people in the development program at Metro State. Okay. And I've been in real estate for over 25 years. Wow. A long time. Right. Long enough to get a couple brainstorms. Yeah of something different that serves something greater than just real estate. Right. So, I love that you're supporting the community and kids. And is there a certain way, or, or what does it take to actually qualify for a scholarship? Well, uh, Metro State, in this case, is uh, has a committee and a group that decides which students are granted a scholarship. Okay. Uh, however, it's not just for Metro State. Uh, the same concept can hold true, although not underway yet, for Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, special needs kids, uh, programs like that. Perhaps a, a coffee company in town could start a scholarship to fund a, a softball program okay. and start a, a youth uh, soccer team. Okay. And, and, and instead of a, a car wash yeah. or a bake sale, right. uh, we could look at this program that's a funding vehicle right. for all kinds of companies, not just Metro State. I think that's fantastic. And Metro is it's a really great school. Uh, you know, they just opened up that new, uh, the Spring Hill Marriott Suites there, and it's it's got a, little, a lot of really wonderful programs. Um, what would you want folks to know about your scholarship and how they can apply? Uh, you know, where can they go to apply and learn more about your organization? Well, uh, uh, you go to the website scholarshiprealestate.com, okay. and that'll give you a nice overview in terms of how it works at Metro State. Uh, they can certainly apply for a scholarship and apply for that scholarship or any other. But what uh, the most important thing is that out of any real estate transaction, uh -huh. uh, these funds can be sent to other scholarships, other foundations, other nonprofits. Wow. So anyone who would like to generate funds in that way from yeah. any real estate transaction, right. uh, they could contact me or check the website, scholarshiprealestate.com. And uh, I could set up uh, funding to go to their organization for their programs, and that's outside of Metro State College. Okay. Yeah. This is wonderful. And so I think it's really important to know that it's a .com, even though it says scholarship, because yep. they might look at .org. So uh, give that website one more time, Dave, and then we're going to let you get back to your table and have some fun. Right. It's scholarshiprealestate.com. Wonderful. Thank you, and welcome to 10th Annual, and uh, continue to have some fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.